Hey, Sniggler's back here. Yeah. Back in the house. Another video. One every day so far. We're on a roll. Okay. As you can see, I'm getting stuff done from school, but don't worry about that. That's not what this video is about. Today's video is I'm going to re encode all my CDs to FLAC. Okay. I have an awful lot I have encoded to MP3 over the years. And sometimes when you buy them from online stores, you only get the choice of mp3 well you did them days like if i go back five six years if i go back to as uh, one here it's in 256 uh faith no more you could only get that in 256 okay because i downloaded it from an online store if you can find the cds you can encode them to flag okay yes they're not gonna some of them are not gonna be perfect and if you get the various artist stuff it's not going to be fantastic. Some of them. Others are fantastic. It's just the pick of the draw, to be honest with you, what you get. So I've started re a lot of my stuff. So down here, the 100 Hits Essential, they come out not too bad at four, okay? Not too bad. Not too bad at all. But the one I really, really wanted to show you was some old CDs or old tracks that were basically mono. We're going to back to the 1960s here. So we have Double Barrel by Dave. And um, uh, no one, not not Dave the rapper or Dave in the grime industry. No, this is oh, Dave and somebody else. I can't remember now. But I've got a, a it's, it's a compilation CD. But yes, it's only 847. It can read at the, the peak. But you also get all the ambience of the studio where they actually recorded it. So there's going to be a bit of hiss. There's going to be a bit of air noise. And so to make the music come true or live for you, this is going to be the only way to do it for me. Uh, the 320 MP3, it just wasn't doing it. It's so peaked off. I don't know if you know what peaked off means. Um, if you know what AM radio and FM radio means, okay, so amplitude and frequency modulation. Amplitude, you had the big peaks, and, this, and with FM, you had a constant channel. With MP3, you get that constant channel. With FLAC and some of the open source stuff, you get a bigger, bigger channel to put all the music and sound into. And this is what I really want. Now, as you know, I've got two drives here for the kids if I kick, kill over, like, if I go and die somewhere. So they got music from when Dad was alive which is an awful lot okay so that's i can't give me any money i ain't got any money i'm broke covid man kills you Whew. bang bang booms but they've got that legacy of as much music i can create on them uh drives okay plus i like to listen to a lot of music and i'm really sorry my washing machine going i had to put uh, sneaky girls trousers in milk you know, score hardcore. So what I'm going to be using to do this is these main two. So it's going to be Freak and Asunder. Now I've configured them both to do into FLAC at the same rate. Okay, Asunder can do it, and it's a bit slower, but it can be more accurate. Whereas Freak, I was found, if you want it more accurate, it's going to be slower. So they're both about the same, really. There's no big deal, really, is there? But that's what I'm doing. But I'll go back to strawberry. Oh, by the way, before anybody asks why I'm using a strawberry, Clementine just went, bleh. It just wasn't working for me. I mean, I do like Guada Q as a music player, but it's just not doing it for me at the moment. It's just not running right. There's no connections or anything. So I went back to old school strawberry, does the stuff. Okay. So, yeah. So if you want to make your music sound better, change to a different format okay mp3 is not the be all and end all it's okay for your mobile devices but if you've got speakers or decent headphones or you want to listen to them little things in your ears to make the music make your hair stand on end you need to go to a bit a different format for me it's flack for you i don't know tell me what your format would be sneaky linux out i see you later bye, -bye.